kind of sounds to go. Uh, the director of the film. I'm Lisa Lentamoto, the producer. My name is Ubi Nazoka, Oba Mama Nanaz, and executive director in Bravo. Yes, my name is Uko I live in Utica. Uh, my name is Amo, and I'll be translating for the Bikes uh, professionally. My name is Sui Chan, I am the director of the film for the Bikes as well. Oh, the project goes back to 2004 when Lisa called me together with an artist called Jan Korsgaard who lives out in uh, Asia and um, said we need to take, we ought to make a film about Burma and I was kind of very blank on the issue to be honest. I knew practically nothing about Burma except I had this notion of the lady with the flower in her hair trying to make things different there. I knew that much. I knew a little some a poem by Kip, Roger Kipling, and that was about it, roughly speaking. Uh, but I was intrigued by the fact that I knew so little, that this uh, country had gone under the radar totally. So that's what got us started, and a long, long discussion about what to do, how to approach this, because it is a close country. You cannot go in there uh, without being so on the kind of an excuse for yourself all the time. So uh, the discussion lingered on for a year or so until we realized that there was this phenomenon of the citizen journalists inside the country, and then when we got that notion, uh, we were immediately intrigued because they would be able to supply material that we would never get to, and their own story was fascinating as well. Um, in fact, uh, the EVB, the Democratic Advice of Burma, we started since uh, 1992, so it's almost uh, 18 years ago. Um, we started as a radio station, a uh, shortwave radio station, um, broadcasting in development. And, and it's all about because of the, there's no freedom of expression. And as, as Anders put it quite correctly, I mean, it's a closed country. Um, and that's the main reason that we started an informing um, people inside Burma what's going on within the country. Uh, that uh, lots of mainstream media uh, including like CNN, BBC, um, they don't have any reporters on the ground. Um, they were sort of, Burma was almost neglected. Um, not major focus, there's not very many uh, foreign journalists. Um, it's very difficult to get a journalist visa. Um, so when the subframe uprising happened, um, everybody kind of have to depend on our journalists to get the footage out of Burma. Um, so we were uh, supplying all the television images and, and, and news and information out of Burma. เราเอ็กซ์เพรสพี่ดูเอ็กซ์เคเคโบสุดยอดเลยพี่อ๋อยามาทวีโรเยอะจริงๆพี่เจเดย์เอ้ยอยู่เยอะจังนะฮะแต